Hey everybody, it's Jeff Aromatics, continuing my series on blending a cigar with Cuban tobacco. Now, for those of you who don't know, not too long ago I received some chopped filler Cuban tobacco, um, probably from either the 1940s to the 1960s, somewhere in there. And a friend of mine with a YouTube channel, Jose from Backyard Cigars, uh, sent this tobacco to me and wanted to see if I could try blending it into a nice Robusto sized cigar that we could all enjoy and I fully obliged. So I have some videos in the past where I you know started rolling a few cigarillos to see what I what would work and this is maybe possibly the last of the cigarillo videos and then I'm gonna hopefully maybe start getting into a full-size Robusto type of cigar. But I just wanted to, to try a few different tobaccos uh, like some simpler blends just to see what might work and might not. So this time I'm actually going to try to use some Nicaraguan tobacco. At first I thought the Dominican would be the way to go and now I'm thinking I wouldn't mind actually trying some some Nicaraguan uh, tobacco to give it a little bit of a, of a kick see what would happen and then hopefully uh, from there I'll figure out what will what will work. So anyway this is a pretty rough looking uh, cigarillo. It looks like it's dried out a little bit on the outside. I, I only left it out for maybe an hour or so. Um, the wrapper is pretty fragile, but I didn't want to use too big, too much binder and too much wrapper because that, with this size, that would really take over the flavor. And I want to get an idea of what the fillers are like. So okay, let's uh, get this thing lit up. See what we're tasting. So yeah, uh, what I did was I mixed some Candega Viso from Nicaragua. I got a really good batch of tobacco uh, of Candega, so I thought it would be would probably work really well. Oh, this smells really good already. The last few cigarillos that I that I rolled up uh, with the Dominican tobacco were a little bit on the mild side, and I really wanted to try maybe kicking this up a notch. So I figured um, there's I still have some options Dominican. I got some stronger Dominican tobaccos I can use, but I still wanted to try. The, um, once I tasted this Candega Nicaraguan Candega tobacco, I thought this could really. Um, be a great cigar and still keep that Cuban profile. For some reason, I just think that Dominican's closer, but not necessarily. I think you can still make a fairly, you know, Cuban-esque tobacco or cigar using Nicaraguan tobacco. Now the aroma coming off this is fantastic. I'm going to smoke it down a little bit. I won't waste your time. Get a good feel of it and I'll be back in a little bit and uh, describe what I'm tasting. So stick around. All right, I'm back. It's taken a couple takes. My cigarillo is getting smaller and smaller, but hopefully this will be the this will be the one. Okay, I definitely I'm positive here. I think uh, I'm onto something. I think the Nicaraguan tobacco is the way to go. It this Candega Viso that I have is really good. I really like it. I think it goes great with the Cuban tobacco, although the it still doesn't quite have that kick and that's uh, that spice that I'm looking for. No, I'm not looking for a ton of spice. I'm just looking for a little bit of tingle, and I'm not quite getting that yet. I am getting a pretty good uh, strength in the flavor. The basic tastes that I'm getting is um, fairly one dimensional, but it's a good one dimension. I can work with it. And that is a medium roast coffee with cream and a little bit of mocha. The creaminess I think is coming from the, the, the aged Cuban filler and that mocha and that, uh, those coffee flavors are definitely coming from that Candega. I'm very, um, it's very um, unique, like not unique, it's very um, easy to distinguish for me. It's a, it's a really good tobacco. Uh, I think it'll go great, although it's just not quite complex enough and it just needs a little bit more spice on the tongue. That short filler is kind of coming out on me. The aroma is is really good, really good. Uh, in case I didn't mention it, that's a Sumatra wrapper. So I think we're I think I'm onto something. I'm gonna have to talk to Jose and, and see what he what he thinks. But with um, adding add an extra leaf uh, to this or to uh, one extra filler leaf, I think might add the complexity and the strength. I might bump up the strength by using a. Uh, a Lajero leaf in there of more Candega. Now that is just one step up in strength from the Viso that I'm using, as well as I might keep the Sumatra as, depending on um, what I think, I might even use the Sumatra as a binder and then add a little bit of a, a spicier uh, wrapper to this, like say an Ecuadorian Maduro. I'm gonna have to talk to Jose 
and, and, and see what he thinks. I know he's given me a lot of free reign uh, to do what I want here, but I still want his input, see what, what, he, what he wants. But I want to keep as much of the Cuban filler as I can, uh, but yet still have that, that little bit of spice and, and strength that I'm looking for. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I might make another cigarillo or two, uh, bef now that I think of it, before I, I go for a full-blown, you know, robusto size cigar. And uh, I'm really hopeful now. I think I think we're finally on to, to uh, a proper direction. Anyway, I hope you guys found this enjoyable. I certainly did. I'm curious to see how this goes. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So I hope you guys are too. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, Aromatics, signing out.